Turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are. Here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. Um, a subscriber, first name Kenneth, has had a request for me to show how to do a little bit of the lace. And the way he was doing it, he said he was having problems with it um, cracking almost immediately after he's finished with it. And yes, that has the potential of doing that. Uh, and the way I saw from the way you were doing it, it could have its advantages and disadvantages from your uh, pictures that you showed. And I guess I could show them, but at this point, anyway. Now, the way I saw it, and I'm doing it with a single flame. Um, I'm doing it with a single center flame, and you have uh, at least four to six five bits in your center flame, but still it's the same idea. Um, you want to get this one very, very molten, and this one enough that you can touch to and keep going. But you want to be able to let this one flow, the one in the right hand to flow, and this is what you're doing. Is touching and pulling out, touching and pulling out, like you, I thought I saw that's the way you were doing it. And you're doing a lot thicker and a lot bigger than what I'm doing it. And that might be a problem, too, that you are having. You might want to try doing it a little thinner to begin with and get the hang of it. But also, now, now this is the way you are doing it, basically. Okay. And you might want to try to make it a little bit more round as you're going. And you're just sort of touching and pulling and making it very lacy. But one of the things I, I think is your problem is that you don't go back over it and warm it in and warm it out a little bit. So that they, all of the, the, um, the seals, the, the touching that you've done with the glass stays together a little better that way. And at the moment, these aren't very round and very pretty, but it's basically the same idea that you are doing. But that's one of the things that you got to go back in and do is, is do exactly what I'm doing now is heating it up all the way around to make the seals a little better as you went. Okay. And also, if you want to make it into a base of some sort, you might want to make sure it's flat enough that it's not going to be rocking. Okay. Simple basic on that one. Now, let me uh, show you. Now, that's basically what you've done. Let me show you. Uh, this is basically a fold and pull, but a little bit different. You leave a little bit of space. And my fold and pull is basically how I make my, my, my wings and stuff like that. Let me fire polish that a little bit. And we'll let that sit there. And that's going to air cool. And I know that's not... If you can, if you're finished with something lacy, you might want to go ahead and just put it right on into the oven ASAP. But, okay. We're going to set that down. And go for another. Now this is what I do. Is, is, it's, a, it's a little bit different lace. And it does do a pretty cool job, too. Um, again, you want to make sure. Now, another thing that you need to practice while you're doing your lace, before you really start to do your lace, is learn how to pull stringers about this thick and keep it going and keep it flowing so that you can see that that's continuous. See there? The stringers will make a difference in your flow method. If you can keep it going and it's keeping it the same thickness all the way around, then you're in about the zone that you need to keep the, the stuff melting right. Here we go. And the fold and pull is basically just what I said. You pull it out and you fold it over, touch it to the top, pull it out, fold it over, touch it to the bottom, pull it out, touch it up to the top. Bottom, top, bottom, top, so on and so forth, back and forth. And it does leave a nice loopy, lacy. 
And you can see that that does an interesting job too. Same basic base that you were trying to make. And mine I got a little bit bigger on, as I went around, I guess. <laughs> there we go. And again, what you want to do is make sure that you've heated up the seals in the middle, like I did. Both sides, so it's flowing a little bit better. Oh, I heard that crack a little bit over there. I'll pick it up. Now, it's going to crack. There's going to be stress in it. Don't fret over that, but you just got to make sure, like you said, you have problems and it's cracking in the middle and stuff. But this will help it from cracking, is to heat it all up like I'm doing right here, right now, and letting it flow a little better. Okay? Either style works well. And yes, you can get to the point where you can make it nice and round and nice and pretty if you want to. But what I usually do with these, I make things like this. Same type of lace, back and forth. You can uh, do a nice tubular thing to make the, the, the cylinder for the, for, the, uh, for, the, for the body. And then you've got the wings. It's the same back and forth for the lace, for the, for the wings themselves. But you do it back and forth and, and make a long stem instead of and I'll do a demonstration of that real quick okay let me go ahead and pull this off now let me check this I thought I heard it crack but I don't see it but that's okay and that's what you're looking for is a nice half dollar size but that's where you're you were going wrong is that you were just doing it and leaving it alone but if you a little piece just popped right off there right there and there is some cracking going on but it's all in mine in the case of my glass weaving you can go back into it and fix it fairly easy some of the weaving that you do or lacy that you do it sort of um, once you do it once try to go back into it it, it completely falls apart Anyway, let me uh, let me do a quick demo. I'm going to do a. Oh, well, why not? Got a little bit of time. A lacy eagle. Okay. This will show a lot of things that you can do with lace, and also make wings and stuff like that. Oops. Let me see here. Didn't realize it. You guys probably saw it. Ah, oh, he's bleeding. Maybe not. Now, um, this is basically, it's going to be small. Let me get a piece of rod, or rod to put it on. And it's going to be about, about an inch and a half, two inches tall. And basically the lace is back and forth, touching the top and bottom. You can see I'm just sort of doing it really quick, really easy, making a cylinder. And this will make the body of the eagle, because of course it also looks like the feathers of the eagle at the same time, which is pretty cool. Back and forth. And as you see, it's sort of touching to the bottom part and adhering to it and you're going, you're, you're, you're sort of coil potting, but in a lacy, very wholly lacy pattern going on. Just keep going on it. There we go. That's going to be, that's going to be about the size of the body and the neck and the head all together. Bring it together here. Right about there is where the neck is going to be and it does tend to see there you can collapse it a little bit this is almost like working with tubing but you can't blow into it to make it more hollow or whatever and make it more uh, you gotta make sure you're working a little bit together there we go there's the neck and I'm gonna pinch it just a little bit more we go there 
needed it just a little bit more narrow. The thing about me making eagles, <laughs> nine times out of ten, if I make an eagle, it looks like, like a parrot. And if I make a parrot, it looks like an eagle. So we're going to try to make this look like a, at least a bird with wings flare, flaring out like eagle wings. Okay? We'll see. Come on. Up, up, up. There we go. Now, another thing that makes it look a little bit more like an eagle is you put a triangle base to the top of the head. And the beak comes out and then goes right down. I'll probably end up doing another beak in a little while. But in the meantime, a couple of dots for some eyes. Just basic dots. One. It's fun learning to, to put the eyes across from each other. See there, I even did that and it melted the, the, the end of the beak, but that's okay. There you go. Well, that's where it gets into the parrot look. <laughs> Shorten the beak a little bit. There we go. Let's make it a little longer. Try one more time. And I should probably go ahead and do the rest of it first. There we go. Now, the wings. They're pretty interesting. And in that I... Uh, Attach and just do uh, a little bit of an L bend shape there on both sides, and then I'll do the lace going on the bottom side of it. Here we go. Yeah, and if you guys have a, a question or a problem, um, and if I can help, I will just sort of, this is what Kenneth did. He said, Hey, I'm having problems with lace. And so I did at the very beginning of this video, exactly what I think his problem was and showed him how to make it a little bit better. And again, this is a fold and pull or a, a, or a, uh, modified fold and pull. It's a little lacy, but it still has the wing look to it, as you can see. Not bad. Yeah, it's looking like a parrot. What can I say? <laughs> Still looking like a birdie. Watch the birdie. Pull and pull. Back and forth. Touch. Pull out. Touch. Back and forth. This one's a little bit different. You can reshape the wings a little bit as you go along. There we go. And this is what I mean by reshape the wings. Now right now it's sort of stretched out straight. But you can heat it up and manipulate it just a little bit. Here we go. A little bit further back. Bend it up a little bit, see? Let's do this side. Same idea. Middle of the wing. And manipulate. There we go. Front legs. I'm just going to do a couple of claws and I'll probably put two or three toes on this thing instead of the five that I usually well that you can put on here touch on and as you can see the lace that I do is where you can re-manipulate a little bit and heat up and add more to it if you wanted to it's a it's a it's a nice lace doesn't explode on you most of the time there we go there's the other leg I'm going to go ahead too and um, pull off the back side of this and put a tail on it.
I don't know what's wrong. I think I have a winging in my ear. <laughs> That's a bad joke. I know. <laughs> Tinnitus, right? Oh, wow. You can see the difference in size of the wings here. Let's fix that. Never noticed it until. Now, this one's a little bit bigger, and that one's a little bit smaller. I don't know if you, could, you should be able to see that. So we're going to pull just a little bit of this one off, and it should do the trick to even it out. And you could do it either way. Pull a little bit off or, or add a little bit to the other one, whichever your case may be. There you go. A little bit more even. That'll work. Now I'm going to do the uh, back tail. And that's basically what I've done before. And it's going to be a, a fan like going on from this point back and forth, like so. Touch pull. And there we go. Simple, basic. I know I have not been doing my live video feeds like I, sh I have done in the past, and I need to. I miss, I miss the live audience. I really do. And it's been about, I'd say, about three or four months. And even half, uh, close to half of uh, my subscribers don't even know about, well, they probably watched a few of the live feeds due to the down, you know, watching it on YouTube, but they haven't seen me actually do a live feed. That's surprising. Truly, um, I've been going on, I'd say, about four months of not really doing much of a live feed. I did the, the one with my son for his um, birthday present um, a, a, a month ago, but that was about the size of it. And that's the first one I've done in a long while, mainly because I like the higher quality that you get from the phone recordings that I do and then uploading but I still need to do live video feed maybe I'll I'll figure something out and do both at the same time and uh, somebody also told me I have to go into uh, YouTube and change the settings in there so instead of being just a normal uh, upload which is probably about 420 or, or whatever it is uh, I need to do 720 and uh, 480, and I need to do 720 on or better on the on the upload, like 1080, uh, for the resolution. It's just a matter of uh, of doing the job. Got one more little thing to do here. A couple of claws, and there we go. Tap that off. I polish where I had the cold well. And we have half parrot, half eagle, right? <coughs> Thanks for watching. Go ahead, tell me it's a chicken. I'll, I'll believe you. <laughs> As always, <laughs> carpe vitro and enjoy your day.